This is going to be a short video talking about comments in Java. So when you're writing Java code, or, or any code really, you want to document what you're doing. If there's anything that's confusing in your code, ideally you would rewrite the code to make it not confusing, but sometimes it helps to leave yourself some notes in the code so that when you go back later and look at it, you can understand what happened. Now these notes are called comments, and they don't affect the actual program at all. If you add a comment or remove a comment, it doesn't have any effect on the program that the compiler is going to make. It doesn't have any effect on how the program runs. They're simply there to help you understand what you've written. So that being said, there's two types of comments in Java. There are single line comments, which you start by doing something like this, the two forward slashes. And then there are multi-line comments that start with a slash star and end with a slash star. Excuse me, end with a star slash. So if you just need a quick comment, you use the single line one. But as soon as you hit return and go to a new line, it's not the comment anymore. You know, this code right here will run. So as you can see, this line right here is just for documentation, but this line right here still runs. You can see the output right there. So the second type of comment is the multi-line comment, and like I said, it starts with the slash star and ends with the star slash. It's sort of a convention or a common practice to put the stars at the beginning of each line of the comment, so it's very clear that it's a comment. And in fact, NetBeans will do that for you automatically, but you don't have to have them there. So. So again, we'll run this, and you can see you know, both of these lines still run. You can see the output right there. But nothing happens to the program because of these two comments, this one and this one. So I can just delete these, and the program will run. One final note about the single line comments is they don't have to start at the beginning of the line. For example, you can put them after a line ends, and the comment will be everything from where the, the forward slashes start to the end of the line. So as you can see, when you run this one one last time, there's no change to the output. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for my next one.